No, made me nervous. After the game, did you I, I feel mean, it was? Made, it made me nervous before, and it makes me nervous now. That's a. We all know that continuity and in, in years of service at those five guys is very beneficial. And when you move them around, it's not the same. Uh, people say, "Well, he's an offensive lineman." It's not the same. Bryce Bryce went from playing guard to left tackle. It's not the same. You can tell by looking at the salary structure of the NFL left tackles compared to the NFL right guards. And it's the same for college, maybe even worse. Uh, so was I um, nervous? Sure I was. Am I nervous now? Sure I am. Was Johnny big leadership-wise for that, that unit to work the other night, though? I, Gleason was talking about he, he could hear him calling out stuff over the headset a lot. Yeah, we promised him four tickets to a heavy metal concert this summer, and he bought into it, said he'd make the change. So. Johnny's Johnny. He's good. You know, he loves OSU. He's a typical uh, blue collar, hard nosed cowboy culture guy. He tell him to do whatever, he'll do it. He just loves playing football. What do you think of Hunter Anthony, too, in his first start? He did good. He, at times, early in the game, he had some issues. Um, you know, the last time he played, he was playing at Tuttle. So it's a big difference. That the 56 for them is a good player. He's, he's active, makes plays. Uh, uh, 91, I think, is the other guy that lined up on him some. He, he can create some issues. Uh, and so I think the game uh, moved really, really fast for him, and then it started to slow down a little better. Uh, toward the end of the game, when we were rushing the ball straight ahead, he was pretty good. He is a, a, a big guy. He's got a mean streak in him. He loves to play football. He's tough, seems to be competitive, and those are great qualities for an offensive lineman. Inexperience is not one. Uh, there's nothing we can we can uh, do to change that at this time, but as the game went on, he's kind of liked to play, and he realized that he he can hold up a little bit. You mentioned the mean streak. I was going to ask. It seemed like he was getting kind of fiery out there. What he's got like? that in him. Yeah, he's uh, he's got a little history, uh, and uh, he likes to do that. But that's what it takes to play in the offensive line. He um, got the penalty at the end of the game. We we broke the huddle. I believe two plays before. And uh, I asked him, I said, I need, to, I need three things from you guys. One, I need a good snap. Two, I need good ball security. And three, I don't want a penalty. That's all I ask. And then the, basically the game's over. Two plays later, he got a penalty. Uh, it, and that gives you an example, I'm building you a, uh, an illustration of what it's like with dealing with young players. He already had the guy blocked. You look, go back and look at it on TV or on tape. He already had the guy blocked. The guy was on outside leverage. He was in great position. Chuba was over there. He's going that direction. And he slung him to the ground. He didn't need to do anything. All he needed to do was finish his block or just stand there. But he's got a little bit of that in him, and he learned. We talked to him about it. We discussed it. It didn't it bothered him more than anybody, but that's how you learn. He won't do it next time. So um, I like that we don't have to push him in the fight. We have to pull him out. He just needs to learn to temper himself and understand and be a more disciplined football player.